birthday card using my new beautiful zig pen so as you can see i thought i'd just put them here so you could have a quick look they're absolutely gorgeous all the lovely colors and being watercolor effectively um watercolor pens i've got my water brush here on the top which i use a lot with them and it means you can mix and blend and it gives such a completely different look to the um Pro markers, which are alcohol based pens. Complete set, and this particular um, type, because Kurataki, which do Zig, do several types of pen. They're a professional uh, graphic artist company, so their pens are professional pens like Pro markers and Copics, they're not just for craft. Um, so, this particular one is the Art and Graphic Twin Ended Pen. So, we've got the brush end, which is this really brilliant sort of almost like rubbery nib and it just completely bends um, like just it's amazing and then it just goes back and it also means you can blend so you can sort of go over a colour and put two nibs together and get a colour together and mix it together which is really cool and then you've got the bullet point on there which is great for writing smaller areas um, if you want to do some faux stitching um, paper pad that I'm using and it's the a watercolour pad um, that I've just picked up um, by Dale Rowney and it's just this particular one, it's just the one that I like using this stamp here. This is a Kanban stamp and I'm going to be doing a Christmas card. If I take this out, put it on there, you can see. So we've got a great Santa. It's going to be stamping Santa and then it says ho ho ho, Santa Claus is coming. So I'm going to put that top and bottom of my th of my actual stamp. So. Now, when I you remember, when you use your Pro markers or your Copics, because they're alcohol based, you need to make sure you use something like a Memento ink pad. Um, with these, because they're watercolours, you want to do the opposite. And I've been using an alcohol ink, such as in my case, I've been using the um, Stays On ink pad. Now when you get your stays on it, it comes with like a little protector because the ink does dry out really quickly so um, be aware of that. And the other thing is it do will stain, almost certainly will stain your um, stamps, don't worry. That said, I have found that the baby wipes that I use, if I scrub it off pretty quickly, I, it fi I do find it comes off clean. Not too bad at all. Okay, so let's place Santa in the middle here. Now every time I say the word Santa, my dog's picking up her Santa ball. She's got a little red ball that's got like a little Santa face and it's her, f she's got about 20 of them and it's her favourite toy in the whole world. She would literally die to save her Santa, so she keeps thinking that we might be playing a game. <laughs> having such trouble with my um, stays on ink pad I clearly need to get a new one I'm just going to stamp in my regular memento ink for the um, sentiment part and I've got my ho 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 and the reason I don't need to worry about that is because obviously I'm not going to be colouring in that part and if it doesn't work you know if I test it and it works anyway with the memento and the watercolour ink it may be it's a good thing to know anyway so ho 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 at the top like so and then the Santa Claus is coming and why I put the lid on And then we put that at the bottom. There we go. So just gonna go where there would be areas because obviously it is really a white beard, but what we don't want is if you left it just as it is, it would look wrong because there wouldn't be shadowing and stuff. So we're just putting in some colour just a little bit of colour where there would be the stamp has indicated in itself there where there would be some shading and then I'm just going to take my water brush and I'm just going to lightly go over the colour and 
just drag it around a little bit so basically the beard area is now wet so then I can take my pen again and just go over that area a little bit more if I wanted to mainly around the edges just to and then that'll dry off and that'll make a big difference now I'm going to do the same thing on the white of the Santa's boots and, and his sort of fur, etc. But I'm gonna see if there's a different gray, a slightly different color. And I'm gonna go for maybe that slightly bluier, slightly darker. And that's number 80. Now I don't know if this will be the right thing to do. So I'm gonna put a very small amount, as you saw, just a tiny bit on his, on his hat there on his bubble rather and the other thing is you can then take it off you know just by dabbing so if you've put a little bit much you can push it across using your water of your watercolour as you can see most of that's gone and then the other thing I do is I take just like I've got a little cloth and I just take the end and dab off any excess and then go back in and just highlight if I need to highlight a little bit more like so so it's just really delicate around where it would be darker around these edgy bits here because it's thicker the lights hitting it so I'm just going onto those pieces put the pen down and then very carefully not doing too much and then again just dabbing that off to take any I don't, as I say, I don't want it too bluey. And then you kind of take off and put back on, but it does give a, f a better effect, I find. And then you can just put a little bit extra around that extra bit that would be that little bit darker because it's the bottom of the roughly bit. Okay. So then we're going to go to his little sleeves and do exactly the same thing for them. And there we go. So that's all the white parts done. So now we're going to do um, his jacket, the red of his knees, his jacket and his little hat and I've picked up two colours. I've picked up number two which is a fabulous red and then a slightly darker red which is number 80. Okay so we're going to start with this main um, red. I'm going to start on his knees I think and we're going to pretty much cover the whole area I'm not gonna I don't want to dilute this color down so we're pretty much going to color this in as is and these pens will blend beautifully even if you don't use the watercolor part you know you don't put water to them they'll still blend together lovely so you just get a more intense color and as it's a Santa you really want a lovely intense red just be aware that you want to make sure that your other parts are virtually dry if you used a water brush because otherwise you will find that they will blend across. Okay, so now using the darker colour, I'm just going to add in some shadowing. And that's when I'm going to get my pen and my water brush, I mean. that will just blend that through just lovely stop it being really harsh but you can see you've got the shadowing there I think I just want to pull that down a little bit so his knees nice and red okay and then we're going to go on to the next one and do exactly the same now we want to do his little jacket so again exactly the same again Hopefully you might be able to see a little bit easier now, so I'm just still using my bright red. Okay, so now we need to start adding some dimension by using our other colour. So using our darker colour, we're going to go in, first of all, to this little area down here. That's just got to be darker, I think, full stop. And then 
in here to the edge of that. And then using our water brush, just smoothing that out a little. pen 207 which is a lovely kind of light pink sort of a skin tone pink so I'm just gonna pop that onto the one half and then using my pen my water brush I mean I'm just gonna soften that over to the other side so it just gives a bit of softness to the face and then we want a tiny bit in here for his little bottom lip so I'm just going to use that pen there like so to add a little more stronger pink just to give kind of a little blush to his cheeks put a little dab of number 222 which doesn't look very strong here but it is actually quite strong and I put a little bit on my other piece of paper and just put some on my water brush and just giving him a little bit of a blush to his cheeks and to his little nose okay so the next thing I want to do is the little buckle and his belt so I need first of all some black for his belt which is number 80 and we're just going to go over the areas that are already black just to emphasise them because if you change that too much you lose some of the dimension so I don't really want to do too much to that in that in a changing that too much and I'm just going to use my water brush just to add a little bit of the black to the whiter area but it will look almost like a soft grey just to get add that in there we go and then on his actual buckle I've got a jelly roll pen in silver and I don't know what make it is but it's a normal kind of jelly roll pen and I'm just going to go around the actual buckle itself and just add in silver light so we need to use the black again on his boots for the same idea so we're just going to the buckles on our little boots and any extra kind of little shines that you might think that you might see on the front of his boots if they were shiny just add those in as well just again to add a bit of dimension there we go the one I've chosen is 80 and let's start in the areas that are going to be the darkest got one that's number 55 so I'm going to go over the top of these dark dark areas okay and then taking a pen water brush I mean we're just gonna fill in and you can see how very simply by just using the blending of the pens 
and your water brush you get a really really lovely effect okay so now we're going to move down to the next part of the chair decide whether I want to do some sort of background colour. Let's take some brown. I'm going to put a tiny blob, quite a dark brown. I'm going to put a blob of that up on the paper, the spare. Very watery mix. And then just Just to give it almost a not there. And then we'll do the same again on the top part. So that's our completed Santa, so obviously we need to let that dry. Okay, so I've cut my Santa down to four inches to five and a half. I then cut a piece of red hunky-dory to a quarter of an inch bigger. So we're going to stick that down onto there just using a glue runner. There we go. And I think that just really highlights it. I then took a piece of the green and I cut that ten inches by seven inches scored in half to make a five by seven card and I'm literally thinking that I just want to pop this straight in the middle like so position this because we're not putting anything at the bottom so position it reasonably in the middle both side and top and bottom and then obviously we need to do something on the inside so we'll give it a little insert I shall print it off on my computer an insert with just um, continuing that message where it says Santa Claus is coming and we can put to town Merry Christmas or something like that and just continue that on a, uh, as I say an insert on the inside but for all intents and purposes that card is finished so I hope you've enjoyed making it with me and I'll see you all again soon thanks for watching bye